Welcome to Double Reel, where today we're counting down the top action movie stars who deserve way more recognition. Talking to you, Mr. Hero. <laughs> Number 20, Steve James. Sidekicks often don't get the recognition they deserve, but Steve James brought undeniable star power to every role. From American Ninja to the Delta Force, James consistently played second fiddle, but his performances were always top notch. His mix of martial arts, physicality, and sheer presence made him a standout in ensemble casts. Despite not having a solo blockbuster, James' portrayal of tough, no-nonsense characters left a lasting impression. Fans still remember his energy and skill, making him one of the most underrated stars of 80s action cinema. Number 19, Keith Vitale. The martial arts genre thrives on authenticity, but sometimes real life champions fly under the radar. Keith Vitale, a world karate champion, brought his unparalleled skills to the screen, but his name often doesn't get the credit it deserves. From Wheels on Meals to Revenge of the Ninja, Vitali showed that his combat abilities translated seamlessly into action-packed roles. His performances are always sharp, delivering fight scenes with a precision few can match. He remains an unsung hero of martial arts cinema, consistently proving that real-world expertise can elevate any action scene. <laughs> Number 18, Keith Cook. When a star can slip into multiple iconic roles, you know you're dealing with someone special. Keith Cook did exactly that, taking on two memorable roles in the Mortal Kombat film series, first as Reptile, then as Sub-Zero. His martial arts skills shone through, adding a layer of authenticity to the fantastical world of Mortal Kombat. Whether he's playing a villain or a hero, his physicality and screen presence are undeniable. Despite never becoming a household name, Keith Cook's work in action cinema continues to be celebrated by genre enthusiasts. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Number 17, Lauren Avedon. Finding a niche in the martial arts world isn't easy, but Lauren Avedon managed to carve out his spot with style and skill. Avedon made his mark in films like No Retreat, No Surrender 2, and The King of the Kickboxers, combining real martial arts expertise with on-screen charisma. His agility and skills made him stand out, even if the films themselves didn't always break through to the mainstream. He brought a fierce, almost theatrical energy to his fight scenes, turning every role into a showcase for his martial arts talents. Though he may not be a mainstream star, Avedon's work has left a lasting impact on martial arts cinema. <laughs> Number 16, Billy Blanks. Action stars typically fight for movie roles, but Billy Blanks found another way to leave his mark. Through a unique combination of martial arts and fitness, Blanks launched a movement that reached far beyond the screen. His work in King of the Kickboxers and TC2000 was solid, but his Tabo fitness program became a global phenomenon. Though his film career never hit the mainstream, his influence on both fitness and action movies has been immeasurable. Number 15, Matthias Hughes. Villains are often overlooked in action films, but they're crucial to making the hero look good. Matthias Hughes took this role to heart, using his towering frame and chilling intensity to become a fan-favorite antagonist. While Hughes may never headline a blockbuster, his legacy as one of the most reliable bad guys in action cinema is secure. Yeah. <laughs> Number 14, Sho Kosugi. The 80s were a golden age for ninja films, and Sho Kosugi was the man at the forefront. Kosugi brought a level of authenticity and grace to martial arts cinema that made him the go-to star for ninja films. His breakthrough came with Enter the Ninja, where his martial arts skills and quiet intensity made him a standout. Kosugi's performances in films like Revenge of the Ninja and Ninja 3 helped define an entire subgenre, making him an icon of 80s action cinema. While the ninja craze has faded, Kosugi's work remains timeless, and his influence on martial arts films continues to be felt today. Number 13, Richard Norton. 
Not every action star gets the fame they deserve, but Richard Norton has quietly delivered knockout performances throughout his career. Norton worked alongside legends like Jackie Chan and Chuck Norris, blending his Australian grit with martial arts finesse. Norton's expertise in fight coordination has elevated many action films, even when he's not the one in front of the camera. Though he may not be a household name, Richard Norton's contributions to action cinema are invaluable, and he remains one of the most underrated stars in the business. You break my record, now I break you, like I break your friend. Number 12. Bolo Yoon Action films need a formidable antagonist, and few actors have embodied that role better than Bolo Yoon. Jung's breakthrough came with Enter the Dragon, but it's his role as the ruthless Chong Li in Bloodsport that solidified his place as one of the greatest villains in martial arts cinema. Jung's physical presence is unmatched, and his ability to bring menace to every role makes him unforgettable. Though often cast as the bad guy, Bolo Jung's contributions to action cinema have left a lasting legacy that demands more recognition. Doctors. <laughs> Number 11. Don the Dragon Wilson An 11-time kickboxing world champion, Wilson didn't need to act tough, he was tough, and it showed in every film. His Blood Fist series became a staple of the direct-to-video action scene, offering fans a steady supply of intense fight sequences. Before we dive into the top 10, let's take a moment to shine a light on a few other underrated legends who just missed our list. Michael Dudikoff, known for his role in the American Ninja series, brought a unique blend of grit and charisma to the action genre. Daniel Bernhardt has been a staple in both classic and modern action, from Bloodsport sequels to recent hits like John Wick. And of course, David Bradley, who stepped up in American Ninja sequels, always delivered a grounded, intense presence in every role. Each of these stars has left a mark on action cinema that die-hard fans won't soon forget. Hey, listen, I'm running a little late. You mind if I get on with it? Don't worry, you're done! Number 10. Jeff Wincott Action stars often struggle to break out of the B-movie mold, but some find a way to make that work to their advantage. Jeff Wincott has built a career on gritty, intense performances, most notably in martial arts films throughout the 80s and 90s. He caught attention with Martial Law 2 and cemented his place with Mission of Justice, where his mix of martial arts prowess and hard-hitting performances made him a fan favorite. Number 9. Mark DeCascos Action stars often find themselves boxed in by typecasting, but Mark DeCascos has proven he can handle far more than just fight scenes. DeCascos first made waves with his martial arts skills in cult classics like Only the Strong and Crying Freeman. His athleticism was matched only by his charisma, giving him an edge over other action stars of the time. While he remains underrated in the action world, true fans know DeCascos as one of the most versatile and consistently entertaining stars in the genre. Number 8. Gary Daniels the action genre often spotlights the same few stars, but there are always hidden gems worth discovering. Gary Daniels has quietly become one of the most consistent and skilled martial artists in action films. His breakthrough came in the 90s with films like Fist of the North Star and Rage. Daniels has worked with some of the biggest names, even going toe-to-toe -to -toe with legends in The Expendables. Although he hasn't hit mainstream superstardom, Gary Daniels is a force in action cinema, a reliable star who continues to deliver. Guys. Does. Number 7. Dolph Lundgren Despite playing iconic roles, some action stars never get the recognition they truly deserve. Dolph Lundgren is often remembered as Ivan Drago from Rocky IV, but his filmography reveals much more depth. While he may always be known for his towering presence in villainous roles, Lundgren's solo work deserves far more love than it gets. For a tough guy, you sure do a lot of talking. <laughs> Number 6. Lorenzo Lamas Lorenzo Lamas is one of those action stars who never quite got the full credit he deserved. While many actors find that one iconic role, Lamas remains a bit of a hidden gem in the world of martial arts and action cinema. He first grabbed attention in the 1980s as Lance Cumpson on Falcon Crest, but it was his transition into the world of action movies that showcased a different side of him. 
In films like Snake Eater and the Renegade TV series, Llamas brought a rough-edged intensity that resonated with fans who knew him as more than a soap opera star. Lorenzo Llamas might not be the first name people think of in action, but that makes him all the more intriguing to those who know just how much he's done to earn a place in the Action Hero Hall of Fame. Number 5. Philip Ree Some of the most underrated legends in action cinema don't always get the recognition they deserve, and Philip Ree is a prime example. Known for his role in the Best of the Best series, Ree brought a depth and authenticity rarely seen in martial arts films. Ree's natural intensity and martial arts mastery brought his characters to life, resonating with audiences who saw the heart and soul he poured into each role. Despite his talent, Ree remains a hidden gem in action cinema, a star whose work continues to inspire, leaving fans hoping to see his genuine dedication on screen once more. Three. You just signed your own death certificate, player. <laughs> Number 4. Michael Jai White While some action stars struggle to find their defining role, Michael Jai White has delivered not one, but two iconic performances. White first made waves with his portrayal of Spawn in the 1997 film, showcasing both his physicality and his ability to lead a major franchise. He followed this up with Blood and Bone, and then he made the iconic Black Dynamite in 2009, a comedic yet action-packed homage to black exploitation cinema that cemented his status as a versatile performer. White's martial arts skills and screen presence have made him a fan favorite, but he's still waiting for the mainstream recognition he deserves. Whether he's playing a superhero, a parody, or a straight-up action hero, Michael Jai White proves he's one of the most underrated talents in the business. You want my money? You want to take it? Number 3. Jeff Speakman Sometimes all it takes is one signature move to make an action star stand out, but it doesn't always guarantee mainstream fame. Jeff Speakman made his name in the 90s with his innovative use of Kempo Karate, a martial art rarely seen in Hollywood. His breakout film The Perfect Weapon showed off his rapid-fire hand strikes, introducing a fresh style to action fans. Though he never reached the A-list, Speakman's dedication to authenticity in fight scenes and his no-nonsense screen presence set him apart from many of his peers. While he's not a household name, Jeff Speakman had the talent and charisma to be one of Hollywood's top action stars. <laughs> Number 2. Cynthia Rothrock The world of martial arts cinema has been dominated by men, but Cynthia Rothrock shattered that glass ceiling with a kick. Rothrock rose to prominence in the 80s and 90s, starring in a string of martial arts films that showcased her incredible skills. Films like China O'Brien and Sworn to Justice cemented her place as one of the few women leading the charge in action cinema. Rothrock's combination of martial arts mastery and charismatic screen presence made her a trailblazer in a male-dominated industry. Even though her contributions have often been overlooked, Cynthia Rothrock remains an icon for action fans, continuing to inspire new generations. Number 1. Scott Adkins Sometimes all it takes is relentless hard work to carve out a space in the action genre. Scott Adkins has built a career on intense physical performances, particularly in the realm of direct-to-video and streaming films. His breakout role in Undisputed 2 as Boyka, the world's most complete fighter, made him a cult favorite among action fans. Adkins' films may not always hit the mainstream, but his combination of martial arts, prowess, and charisma has made him one of the most reliable stars in the genre. While Hollywood hasn't fully caught on, Scott Adkins continues to be a go-to star for fans of hard-hitting, no-nonsense action films. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content.